Let's install inventory tweaks for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to download inventory tweaks is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you over here to the download page within CurseForge for inventory tweaks reforks. And what that means is that the mod was kind of remade for the newest version of Minecraft, in this case, 1.21 using NeoForge. Inventory tweaks Refox is the closest that you're going to get to inventory tweaks, the original one. And if you don't have NeoForge as a mod loader in your computer, don't worry, because I'm going to teach you how to install NeoForge in a bit. But anyways, once you're over here, just find the newest version or the 1.21 in this case, click on this little three dots in here, click download file. And within five seconds, the download for the inventory tweaks file will begin. And while the file is downloading, don't forget that you still got time to get 25% off your first Minecraft server using Apex Housing if you use the first link in the description. They have support for over 200 mod packs and something that I personally love besides Apex Housing having locations all around the world. So no matter where you are, you don't have to worry about having a good connection is that you could actually control the server console through your phone, which means that you could be away from the house, like you could be at Walmart and stuff and still control your server and stuff, change the settings, kick people out, do whatever you want to do because you could access your server console through your phone. I'm going to leave that first link in the description for 25% off. And now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once inventory tweaks the Refox downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. You can find it here in your recent downloads. Let's go ahead and drag and drop it over here. And if you already have NeoForge installed, all you have to do is drag and drop this file into your mods folder, which you probably know where it is if you already have NeoForge installed. However, if you don't got NeoForge, don't worry, we're going to go ahead and get it installed real quick. Click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install NeoForge. It's pretty similar to installing any other mod loader. In this case, you just come over here to this guide. If you don't want to read through it, go to step one, click download. That'll bring you over here. And in here, just look for the 1.21 version. If you don't see here, as you as you can see right now, we do have it, Minecraft 1.21 right here. But if you don't see in there, you could just go over here for other versions and then click in here to see the list of all the versions that you got NeoForge for. But in this case, we do have it right here, 1.21, because it is the most recent one. So just click here where it says latest NeoForge installer and that'll begin the download immediately for the installer of NeoForge. And once NeoForge downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop, just like we did with the inventory Twix file. And once we have that in here, the next step is to install NeoForge. And first, I want you to make sure that you have closed Minecraft 1.21 as well as your Minecraft launcher. And it is extremely important that you have played Minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer to create an instance of that game for NeoForge to install to. Once you've done that, go ahead and close out. And now just right click on NeoForge, click open with and click Java. And that is actually going to open the installer of NeoForge. The only issue that I could imagine that you could have trying to open the installer is that you don't have Java 21 installed, which is a requirement for you to open the installer. Once you get it open, just go ahead and click install client and click proceed and the installation will begin and again you might not be able to open the installer if you don't have java 21 because it is a requirement the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 so i'm gonna leave this guide in the description in case some of you need to install java 21 sometimes you might have to install java 21 and then go ahead and click on search out of room programs and delete your older javas like java 8 java 7 java 17 sometimes sometimes you don't so just go ahead and check out this guide in case you are not able to open the neoforge installer anyways once neoforge finishes installing you'll see this prompting here go ahead and click OK. And now you could even delete the installer for NeoForge because we don't need it anymore. The next step is to go ahead and add the inventory tweaks into our mods file. And to do that, we're just going to go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher. And once the Minecraft launcher open, if we install NeoForge properly, we should see it selected here automatically. As you can see, NeoForge is selected right here for me. If that's not the case, don't worry because we don't really need to use that right now. As we're going to head over to installations, and this is where we need to find NeoForge. Make sure you have modded selected because without modded, you actually won't see NeoForge in here. And if you still are not able to see NeoForge in here, just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, Apex Hosting, since they'll give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. And then on the version in here, click in here and then type Neo. And then you should see NeoForge come up right here. Just select the 21, which is the 1.21, which is the one that we're using right now. And then click create down here on the bottom right to make an instance of NeoForge for you to add the mod to. Once you either locate a NeoForge in here or created the NeoForge instance, hover over it and click on this little folder that appears right next to it. That is going to open a folder with a lot of files in it. But in here, we're just looking for another folder called mod. M-O-D-S, as you can see, my mods folder is right here. In case you don't have it though, I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete mine. Don't worry, all you have to do is click on new, click on folder, and then just name this folder mods, M-O-D-S. So you could create the mods folder yourself. And once you either found the folder or created it, go ahead and open it. And now just drag and drop that file that we downloaded earlier into here. So the inventory tweaks file, go ahead and drag and drop it into here. Make sure that you don't have any other mod in here that is not compatible with NeoForge 1.21. Any mod that you use with the inventory tweaks 1.21 for NeoForge has to be compatible with set mod load. So you're going to need NeoForge 1.21 mods in here for this to work or your game is going to crash. Anyways, once you added the mod in here, close this folder, head back into your Minecraft launcher and now launch NeoForge to play using the mod that we just installed. Click that you understand the risk and click play again. Now, once we open the game, we know that we're NeoForge because it says it everywhere, like on the top and on the bottom right here and on this little corner, it says it everywhere, right? And we also have this mods button in here, which if we click it, we'll see that we have the inventory tweaks already here working. But we 
we're still gonna go ahead and test it out by going to a single player world and seeing if the mod is working there. Now, as you can see, we're here in the world now, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and use this chest in here. As you can see, you already have these options, which will actually allow you to organize a chest on the names. There's multiple things that you could do using this mod, which is pretty cool, you know, and you could organize the stuff by name and stuff, which I find pretty cool. But yeah, guys, you now have the inventory tweaks mod working in Minecraft 1.21. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, bye bye.